Where are my roots of optimism? As someone who is striving to be a better person and a role model, optimism is a necessity. However, there was a time in my life when I was full of self-doubt, and due to this deterring factor, I struggled. Optimism is not something that can be realized suddenly. Rather, it is a process. My sophomore year in high school was the pivotal time in which I realized the roots of my optimism. This was not only due to academic responsibilities, but also my obligation to the community. With that, I would like to share a brief story with all of you. A college student and a middle-aged man were neighbors. Once, they each bought the same type of plant. The student replenished his with an abundance of nutrients and water, which allowed it to grow vigorously. And the older man only gave enough to his plant to sustain each day. One evening, a big storm came and afterwards both rushed outside to see the fate of their plants. To the disbelief of the student, his plant was uprooted. And when he examined further, his luscious, green, robust plant had small and thin roots. And the older man's plant was unharmed. Do you know why? The plant was not originally given everything it needed to survive. It had to stretch and grow long and strong roots to retrieve resources. The storm could not hinder its stability because it was already equipped to accommodate itself in times of need. This example has a significant correlation to the foundations of my optimism. Optimism is a mindset. When I failed my first essay for APOS history, I was absolutely devastated. Seeing red ink mercilessly splattered all over the page wasn't what I envisioned. But after I got over that initial shock, I wasn't very surprised. There had always been an issue with my writing techniques and I decided to use this class as an opportunity to change that. I started coming in almost every morning at around 5.45 to 6 a.m. just to practice essays with my teacher. I know some of you may be thinking it was a bit of an overkill, but by the end of the year, there's pretty significant progress. And it didn't really matter to me what my exam score was gonna be at the end of the year. I worked hard because it was a chance for me to improve something I knew was possible to fix. I was motivated because I knew that no one is born with everything in their grasp. It's only how you adapt to situations you can't control, which fosters achievements. An anonymous person once said, I would rather be exhausted from the hard times which breed success than well rested from achieving nothing. In other words, for me, I had to become comfortable being uncomfortable. In addition to academics, volunteering allows me to become involved in the community. As part of a leadership club, I hosted a book drive at my school and proceeds were donated to kids at a family center. I also suggested that some of my friends at other schools across Central Columbus do the same so that we could raise the most number of books possible. And it moved me to see the kids' eyes sparkle when they saw Junie B. Jones or Clifford the Big Red Dog. If a book can cause that much joy and encouragement to a kid, imagine what more you could do. Imagine what we could do together to bring happiness to those who may not already have it. I have faith that there will come a day when no child is left unhurt or unhappy because there are people who care and have a passion to make a difference. A day where optimism prevails in everyone's hearts. Until then, I'm willing to speak up on optimism's behalf and for the many things it has done for me. I think I know where my roots of optimism are. <coughs> my roots of optimism are weaved through society. And it's important to note that strength comes from within, just like the old man's plan, my mindset through APOS history, and my efforts to improve society. And as I continue on through life, I will keep optimism at the root of my endeavors. Thank you.